Like, what's your goal? Just, like, to talk or, like... Yeah, we're going to talk about, about different stuff, about perspective of different things, you know. I am going to do a little bit different with you because okay. I don't know too much about you. So. Yeah, 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 okay. But with people that I be inviting, we be fucking around, like, asking weird ass people. <laughs> if you come with that, let me know too. Okay. Shit, you know? I feel like, yeah, I'm down for whatever. And if I feel like I'm not down for something, just then tell I'll just me, Just tell me, oh, uh, skip that question. Yeah, I'll just be like, next. Yeah. I had someone that I did some audio tags for. Mm-hmm. Like, um, you know the music? Like, audio tags when they, like, oh, yeah. in the beginning, yeah. They, oh, yeah, for real? Yeah, 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 this is like that, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Which is, like, kind of made me think about, like, oh, I should, like, do more stuff like that. Like, it's fun. Have you ever tried singing? I have, so in that, in that, um... And that when I went to the studio, mm-hmm. I was like, hey, do you mind if I sing? Um, I just want to sing one song. He's like, yeah, sure. So uh, he put the song on and I, I was singing and like my heart just like, it was just, I, you was, felt it. I was sweating. Yeah, because my heart was like, I've never felt mm-hmm. a feeling like that. Um, like I always sing out loud in my car and wherever I am and I don't care. But um, hearing myself sing and like the vibration was just like intense, like to another level for sure. Did you ever like... Um keep the song do you have it no he's like do you want to keep it do you want to hear it and i was like no 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 why no, not no. i don't know i regret it now yeah i regret it now because it's I'm like sure. something that you could keep you know yeah yeah okay everybody welcome back to another episode of big chilling podcast today Hi. we have brenda right here with Hi. us from the valley welcome welcome from the valley <laughs> <laughs> Straight from the, hey she busted a mission right now and it's hot as fuck too you know it's hot as fuck my legs and everything were sweating in the my chairs like even though i had the ac on the yeah. sun was beaming so hot oh, yeah. that my thighs my back everything was sweaty i was like fuck. is the sun is the sun coming from like the, the east or i don't know i honestly West. don't know i just know West. that shit's hitting <laughs> because it sucks hard. it sucks more when it's hitting like straight yeah so you know when it's like when it's coming oh, towards you, you know honestly, what I mean? Honestly, it was. I wasn't even thinking about that. I just, I was just like, this hot as fuck over here. Like it's hot everywhere, you know. Especially um, right now. Yeah. Summer yeah. just came out out of nowhere because it was raining. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was it raining over there too? Yeah, it was. Uh, um, it was raining sometimes, but it was gloomy every mm. day. It was gloomy every day. We were like, what the fuck? Like, where's the sun? Mm-hmm. You know, because I love the sun a lot too. So, it was just like, where is it? Like. You know, it, you can see, like, it's bright in the clouds, mm-hmm. but it's gray, mm-hmm. you know? And, like, that's actually, I was reading something, like, you know, a lot of people feel like um, the weather is being manipulated and stuff. Hey, do you yeah. believe in that? I do. I do mm-hmm. believe in that. I yes, think that course. Walt Disney was going to do that to Disneyland, uh-huh. where he could make fake snow yeah. and, like, rain. You know yeah. what I mean? That's interesting. Mm-hmm. That's interesting. Actually, that's actually really cool, like, for an experience. Mm-hmm. But, like, when you do it to, like, a magnitude where you're kind of just, like, starting to where it's, where things are just kind of, um, like, when you have control of that stuff, like, that's fucking around with nature. Yeah, it is. You know? And but, that's why, like, pollution and shit mm-hmm. is going on, like, a lot of stuff. But I think it will be pretty cool, especially if they do it in California, because we never get snow. Yeah, I, I mean know, the but mountains, like, but like you know. Yeah, it's but it's kind of like altering the future, I guess. Like what it we is. should fucking do is clean up our like clean up after ourselves. Don't fucking mm-hmm. trash the fucking the streets. Um, you know, keep it clean and then like do what we can as like a force. You know, like we know what we could do with money. You know, mm-hmm. you know the what like force like that magnitude that money impacts, like you know because we can sell out something, right? Mm-hmm. So like why can't we do? Why can't we use that magnitude to you know to change? Like mm-hmm. that's true. Um, I started doing that two years ago. I thought about it and I was like, you know what? Like I gotta stop throwing shit out the car, yeah. or like a little fucking like paper and stuff. Yeah. Like today I went on a hike and I had like uh-huh. a bag of trash on my car, uh-huh. and and there was like a trash can right there. I was like, oh, I'm gonna throw okay. Right there. You and know, then that too, like they yeah. should have more trash cans everywhere. Yeah, that is true. They don't. You know? I'm gonna start my drink right yeah, now. Yeah, for sure. Oh, what are you drinking on, by the way? Uh, this is um or Awada Chata. This is from Products of LA. Um, it's um. It's an all Mexican company, mm-hmm. and um, you know they have different things. They even have like mazapan, like this. This mm-hmm. is THC infused, you guys. So I've actually haven't been drinking alcohol for the, a couple couple months now. I just definitely switched over to THC, and it's honestly like the best thing if you don't want no fucking hangover. Mm-hmm. If you want to have a lit ass time, mm-hmm. you can have a lit ass time. Yeah, just you just won't wake up with a hangover. That is that the reason why you switched it? Um. I just feel like one time I tried a drink and I was just like, oh my God, like, this is so much better than alcohol. Mm, you switched um, it that day. 
Okay. Yeah, I was like, I could fuck with this. Like, mm-hmm. I could fuck with just drinking off yeah. uh, THC. Like, I don't need, um, I don't need an alcohol. Plus, like, you're over there, like, regret, not, not regretting it the next day. I don't even, I didn't even dose this, but I should be careful. Um, a cap is supposed to be 10 milligrams. Oh, shoot. So half of it is 5 milligrams. I think right there. I, I think that's like... Yeah. It's a good 20 milligrams. <laughs> as long as, not, as, long as not, it's not 100. Cause so, then. she was asking me if I've ever tried THC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so the reason why I went into the wrong movie theater is because I drank the whole thing. Oh, by you accident. were fucked up. I didn't know. It, I mean, I knew it was that. But I'm thinking, it's lemonade, it's good. You're like, you know what I mean? Te vale, te lo, te valió verga, and you're <laughs> like, fuck it. Yeah, and I, and I, I was just telling uh-huh. the story to somebody, too, where uh-huh. somebody gave me some uh, takis, uh-huh. edibles, mm-hmm. and supposedly you don't supposed to be mixing it with alcohol. And I was drinking it like, I mean, I was eating it like regular takis. Mm-hmm. And then I looked at the bag and it said, like, oh, don't mix with alcohol. Mm-hmm. Then I looked to my, to my like, my shelf, and mm-hmm. I had, like, five Modelo cans already. <laughs> yeah, fuck. <laughs> and, and I, that was even worse. I couldn't stand up. I couldn't move half of my body. I was scared. I was like, oh, that was the last time. No, yeah. I mean, if I, I think that if something like that were to ever happen, mm-hmm. the only thing I can feel like to counteract that would be some CBD. What is that? It's like just pure CBD. It's just it doesn't have that psychedelic high, mm. but it's like has that calming body mm. effect. No, yeah, I fucked yeah. it up. That day. <laughs> I was like, I was even walking to the restroom like a zo- like this, like no, a zombie. Hell you know? No, it's scary. Mm-hmm. But, but I didn't know about it. You yeah, know? You didn't now know about I'm it. like, okay, cool. Like I guess one chip. You yeah, know? one. Chip. But I fucked that shit. <laughs> There's seltzers. There's seltzers mm-hmm. now that are oh, 10, that... 50 milligrams. Oh really? Those are fucking fire. Like okay. I'd rather drink that than drink a fucking. Um, like a like any other seltzer. Mm, you know? Okay, okay. Yeah, I do have like some some himador right here, some Casamigos and mm-hmm. stuff. But I was like, you know what? I, I didn't know you were gonna drink, but I did get this. Look. Yeah. So it's like brand new too. I never had it, but I'm excited to to grab to have it, which is this. It's like a lemonade. Oh. You know what I mean? What is that? Exactly. And I, I, I know you had Oh, before. it's a lim- it's an alcohol lemonade. Yeah, but it's like it has alcohol. Beatbox lemonade. Yeah. Contains alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, hey, this looks scary. I know. I, it has 11%. And I think um there's some other shit that has like 7%. It still hits me. Mm-hmm. So I'm excited to try Damn, that. Damn, I should have tried this. When you're done with that. <laughs> no, I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, be like, fuck uh, that. yeah, hell no, I'm gonna be high as fuck. <laughs> uh, so, so yeah, tell us a little bit about, about yourself. What is what are the things that you like to do? Um, so I enjoy doing things that truly bring joy to me. Whether that's just like, you know, going to the gym for an hour. You like going to the gym? I huh? do like going to the gym for sure. Mm-hmm. Now I feel like that's like part of like uh, my schedule it helps me keep in in um. Uh, it just keeps me on schedule. It just helps me like feel good, feel great, feel like like I'm doing towards something. Like mm-hmm. if I'm using my, my energy and my time, it's I'm putting that time aside for my physical appearance. I guess. And it makes you feel good too. And men- yeah, yeah. Obviously, like mentally everything mm-hmm. and like I think everything just correlates, um, you know, the feel good after like the serotonin that you're releasing when you're doing exercise mm-hmm. and stuff like that. So it makes sense. I feel like in the beginning, it's hard to get into something like that if you're, you know, especially now I just went to a new gym. Mm-hmm. So um, it's been hard for me to get adjusted to like either the new equipment or just the people, you know, because I was at a gym for two years. So mm. like going to a new gym. It it's was just, just weird. It feels weird. Yeah. Everybody's mm-hmm. looking at me like, who the fuck is this girl? Oh, I know whether you already knew people. Yeah, the mm-hmm. majority of the time, because I was there. Like, mm. it, everybody in your same schedule, like, is mm-hmm. shows up at the same mm-hmm. time, you know? And you, meet, and you meet people and stuff like that. And then here, it's, like, half of the valley is there, mm. but... But you like, don't, yeah. But either I know them or, like, no one will say hi, you know, or, like, whatever. So, I'm just, like, fuck, I'm just here to work out. Acknowledge me. I know. <laughs> hi. I know you know me. I do like going to the gym. Uh-huh. But I hate talking to people. Like, I want to go, work out, and leave. That's it. Mm-hmm. Like, it's cool. Like, I'll see you. Like, oh, what's up? Yeah, but Because yeah. I used to go in the morning at 6 in the morning, every yeah. morning, uh, Monday through Friday. And you see the same people, of course, you know? Yeah, Because yeah. that's, like you said, like, their schedule. Yeah. But it was just, like, I wouldn't talk to nobody. And when somebody mm-hmm. was trying to come, like, I would, just, like, walk to the other 
Like, yeah. You know? Because I'm like, let me work out. I got to go home and sleep. Yeah, yeah, Because yeah. I work graveyard shift. So oh, okay, fine. After, after graveyard shift in the morning, I go to the gym. Okay. And then I just come home and sleep. So, oh, fuck. Yeah. That's graveyard. It must be fucking tough. I've been doing it for six years. Fuck. Oh, so yeah. you're like Yeah. 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 So I teach uh, I teach martial arts in the afternoon. Okay. I work graveyard oh, shift. What, what, kind of, what kind of martial arts? Taekwondo. Oh, I used to do taekwondo. I really? Did, yeah. What belt? I did. I only went up to like the one before black. Poom belt. Oh, the, yeah. the, 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 the Okay, so it was um, it black was, and red. Yeah, black and red. Hey, yes. You, hey, did. you're like uh, okay, taekwondo girl right here. Yes, taekwondo. Yeah. Like, if she would have said <laughs> yellow, I would have been like, oh. No. <laughs> I was. I actually um. Mm-hmm. That was something like I felt like I should have kept pursuing, mm-hmm. but I didn't. Um, uh, well, how old were you when you stopped? I, I think I was 12 years. No, I don't even know. I think I was, I might have been like 13 years old. And that's a I good stopped. age. Yeah. I don't know if, if the teacher told you that, but that's a good age to get like a black belt. Because mm-hmm. once you get a black belt, that's when your, your martial arts, like, um, life can, like, it goes up, you know okay, what I mean? Because okay. it's like new stuff, you know? Which I should have, which I just, you know. I've been doing it for 26 years. 26 years? Yeah. Fuck. But I've been, te- you- I've been teaching for 12 years. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's amazing, though, yeah. that you're able to keep yourself productive mm-hmm. and then whatever you're doing to, you know. Yeah, that's my schedule, literally. Um, yeah. Teach from 4 to 9. Uh-huh. Graveyard shift from 10 to 6. Uh-huh. Go to the mountain to work out or uh-huh. come home uh-huh. and work out here uh-huh. or my gym. Okay. And then come sleep. Mm. And then wake up at 3 and go back. <laughs> so, but it's like a schedule that's already yeah, I mean, like... it works for you. Some mm-hmm. pe- sometimes some people don't understand that, you know, some a busy schedule works out mm-hmm. better for some people. Yeah, that is true. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to get into into some, into some um, questions. Yeah. What do you think about guys that, that be shaving their armpits? I think... Honestly, I never thought. Ever. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. Look, look, look. Cause I did that shit today for the first time in my life. Hey, why? Get but listen, shit? hold on. I'm gonna tell you guys why. Uh, <laughs> Let me tell you guys why before you fucking go in the comments and fucking burn me and shit. Mm-hmm. So I'm I'm finishing my sleep tomorrow. Oh, okay. I'm okay. finishing my sleep tomorrow. Okay, okay. So I'm doing the tattoo artist a favor because he's gonna tattoo this part. Yeah. So I'm like, let me. I don't yeah. want the grown ass man yeah, 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 yeah. right here. You know what I'm saying? So, so I did it for that. But okay, when okay. I did this one, I was like, "Yeah, it looks weird. Let me so do the other one." one. Oh, so yeah. How, so tell me, how'd you feel about shaving your armpits? It feels so weird. Yeah. I feel naked. Close your <laughs> eyes, you perv. Close your eyes, you perv. I feel naked. You feel I, like pat- manos de, de rata. I do. I was <laughs> even going like. I was even. I had to go put on a shirt quick because yeah. that was just uncomfortable. Yeah. But it's like the same thing with everything that you do. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but what do you think about that? Like, I, I mean, think... no, 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 not in a bad way. Just like, what, what yeah. do you think about like? I honestly, I don't, I don't. I feel like it's a necessary, I guess. For mm-hmm. me. Just like you don't need to. I like... never ever have done it. Today was yeah. the first day. How but long, how long was your hair? Is... It was regular. <laughs> it was regular. <laughs> I don't know, but. My ex used to always, like, let's say when she used to, like, lay on me, she was like, oh, you should shave it and this and that. And I used to tell her, I'm a guy, though. Mm-hmm. And I would, like, fuck around and say, like, oh, that's gay, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm like, I'm, I'm a guy, though. And she was like, yeah, but guys do it, too. I'm like, yeah, mm-hmm. but, like, there's no need to. Yeah, you know what no I mean? To. I've I, never thought about that. Yeah, I don't, really, I don't think I've met any guy that yeah. has that, you know? And that's the last time I do it. <laughs> or not that I know of, you know? Like, I'm not over there, like, yeah. checking their armpits. Like, what do you have down there, you know? <laughs> okay, let's say you, you see a guy that you like. Oh, like, oh that, that guy's cute. And then you see their, their armpit. What would you prefer? If it's, like, hairy or nothing? I think natural. Because I love, I love facial hair. Mm, there we go. So, I love, uh, like, even uh, one of my exes, he would, like, shave his his chest uh-huh. and i'd be like dude mm. it hurts more being prickly mm-hmm. on your neck because you don't want to you know mm-hmm. like lay on your chest because it fucking it's like a, <laughs> a sponja like a <laughs> fucking hard sponja hard. what was his name bob <laughs> <laughs> no <Okay. laughs> but um yeah it, I, I don't know i i don't care but if i would ask him like oh why don't you have hair in your pits i'll, I'll mm-hmm. ask yeah, because I've never thought about that. And mm-hmm. I was like, and I was doing that. I was like, I'm going to ask her that. Let's see what, what <laughs> yeah. she think about that. But I'm saying, only reason, 
I'm gonna go get my sleeve done. So okay, so you didn't the favor. You didn't want him to be there. With the yeah, because when I got my stomach done, uh-huh. this one was like, <laughs> and I was like, ah, you know, like yo, here you. My cheese mo was kicking in. Yeah, I was like, hey, bro, we're <laughs> together. Do you already? Come on, like, <laughs> don't be doing that. <laughs> so, what's your type of favorite music that you that you be vibing to lately? I heard you bumping Peso Bluma a while back. Yeah, I was doing. I was, I was trying to add the song actually mm-hmm. to the, to just like the to story. the story. Yeah, yeah, to the story. Um, I like right now. I like I like on it everything honestly to mm-hmm. be honest. Um, but definitely Peso Bluma. Like any, um, new. What would you say that? What would you consider that to be? Like new, I would. Oh, that that gen general. Like era. Uh, no. Yeah, I would say like Corrido Tumbado type stuff, uh-huh. you know. But um, what do you think about his new album? Um, I haven't listened to the whole album, to be honest. Mm-hmm. Um, I just listened to I just put on Spotify and I put like one song and then a bit like similar artists. So whatever mm-hmm. that similarity is, I'm open to listening to like what it is, you know. Um, that's how I discover new artists too. Oh, okay. So, but I'm really into Kaluchis right now. Oh, my sister likes that. Yeah. And yeah. Yendri, I think it's called Yendri, but it's all like, it's like different type of music where it's kind of like, we're not talking about anything pointless kind of. Mm-hmm. She's also talking about her feelings mm-hmm. and like how she's able to, like, it's just a different type of like music. It's not like, you know, pussy so tight. Like, <laughs> or, or she does have like that vibe too. Like she'll, she can go from like anything, yeah. you know, but it's not like pointless. Mm-hmm. That's that's what makes a good artist like making like those type of songs yeah because i believe that an artist has different fan bases i don't know if you if you ever thought about that because like for example one of my favorite artists back then was uh kendrick okay but that was when he was like bumping like 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 good kid no 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 good kid mad city and i even have Uh the 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 record right here I think that was one of the fucking dopest concerts I've ever been to. Best. Yeah. But then he turned into, like, the whole other thing that mm-hmm. he was messing with, like, certain beats that I was like, yeah, that's not Kendrick. That's not the one that I like. That you got introduced to. Mm-hmm. I got it. But I feel like a lot of artists, what they like yeah. to do is go out like that, like, with a heart, like, so he they could get fan base, and then they start yeah. doing music of like what they like such as like Tyler the Creator right 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 when he started he yeah. was on like some demon shit yeah, yeah yeah and people was fucking with it and then he started to do like with beats which is cool cause he's talented yeah but it was just like that's why as I said it's cool for an artist to have like different fan base of people you know yeah I feel like uh, either regardless of not they switch their tone of vibe I feel like at the end of the day like if they wanna like transpire or if they wanna like set if they want to do something, I'm pretty sure they'll get around to, like, mm-hmm. do what they eventually want to do. So, I think it's also, like, letting the artist explore. Or maybe you don't even know. Like, maybe, like, things change for him. Like, mm-hmm. he they had be, to switch it they're up. They're humans yeah. and they're evolving as well, you and know? And plus, they're working with businesses. They're mm-hmm. working with people who either manage them. They're either working with, like, you know, I don't know. You just never know. Yeah. Never how's know. your How's your playlist looking like, like... Well, it's like the top that you like, like you know, that that comes out like, oh yeah, yeah, like a certain personal playlist. Um, I don't honestly. I've been like just like jumping from back to back. Like, I have like I think it's Pepe Aguilar's daughter. Oh yeah, her, I know like, who you're talking her about. Her music came came up in that one um because I put Spotify and I put Peso Pluma. Mm-hmm. I think that's what I put, and then she came out on the on the queue. Mm-hmm. And it was like Gagonia, and like that song is like I've been playing and I've been Did you singing it? on it. Yeah, so it's on my life. <laughs> yeah. And then I hear like another type of song, like mm-hmm. it's anything that's relatable. Like I feel like if I hear it, I catch it, I understand, and like mm-hmm. I also like can relate to it. Um, like I'll just I'll just put it on the playlist. Yeah. You know? No. Yeah. Because it's a, it's a must. Like especially yeah. when you're driving, you gotta screenshot it. Yeah, you know, or you just quick. like it. You don't have Spotify? What do you have? I do, I do. But I'm saying, like, usually when I'm, like, working out, oh, okay, okay. like, if, if, I, if I have my Apple Watch, yeah. I'll just clean, uh, screenshot it. Yeah. Because I cannot, like... Well, you just uh, just put, put just press like, and it'll go to your like. On the watch, it does that, too? I, yeah, it does. Yeah. It has a little heart, yeah. Oh, yeah. no yeah. wonder. <laughs> yeah, it goes to right here. Like, it goes to your Learning like. new things. <laughs> it goes to your like. I'll show you. Here, it goes to your like through here, like. Um, yeah, I know it has the heart there and the see, phone. See, there's Kaluchis. I was listening to Kaluchis yeah. radio right now. 
Oh, damn. Uh, it's right here. It'll go right here. Uh, your library liked songs, and then that's yeah, I have all the those. Ones. I have all like my liked songs. Yeah. yeah. You see no, those? but on the phone, it will, I, I've I seen it, but I've never. Yeah, just thought push about it, it and it'll send it to yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hey, what what do you what what do you usually do in the valley? Like that is different from LA. Have you been in the valley for a long time? Or? Yeah, I've actually I've been living in the valley since I was a year old. Oh. And I'm 29. Your whole life. Yeah, my whole life. I um I was raised in the valley, for sure. Um, I was born in Mexico, though. Mm. I, bought here. I was brought here. Yeah. I, That's where oh, I was yeah, born. Acapulco? Where are yeah. you from? I'm from El Lefe. Ah. Uh, America. Wait. I, I don't know. No, my, <laughs> but my dad is a... Um, He's a, a genuine uh, Pumas fan. My my dad too. Yes. Okay, I'm not yeah. kicking you out. She's staying. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, but yeah, I was actually made here. Mm-hmm. I was hecho in California. Oh. And then they, they did you and dirty. And then they went back, and then I came back. <laughs> they did. They did you dirty. Yeah. So hey, it's been a, it's been definitely. I'm like that's what's but written it's in the pride. stars. It's yeah. Pride, you know. It's cool. Like my parents, obviously, they they raised me with la cultura. Mm-hmm. The food and everything, the traditions, which I, I really appreciate, cause, you know, I'm not ashamed to be mm-hmm. Mexican. Um, I think a lot of people don't get, they don't really like, ha- they don't feel like that connection with like, you know, what it is like that Mexican culture that is or true. the Latin culture in general, um, because, you know, I don't know. I just was raised in that culture, and um, I don't think I've ever been ashamed of being Mexican. Which yeah. you shouldn't, you know. Yeah, don't it's be lit. ashamed. Don't be ashamed. Um, it makes you different, and even being different, if that's it's beautiful. The, yeah, it's beautiful. Even if it's that one thing that makes you different, mm-hmm. that makes you different, and that means that you're not the same as someone yeah, else. Yeah, that's true. So you know, yeah, we we, we gotta represent. You know <laughs> what represent. I mean? Yeah. Back to what you were saying about because yes. I did hear, heard you say something. Mm-hmm. What is your favorite food? And it doesn't have to be like Mexican food, but. Uh, Dish wise, me encanta la sopa. I love soup. I love okay. soup. Um, la consomes. Oh, okay, okay. You consomes. like consomes? Yeah, look, mm-hmm. I love consomes. Like even um, recently, I felt like I I hated ramen. I hated ramen, mm-hmm. and this guy introduced reintroduced me to it. And at first, I was like, "Fuck!" Like you know, I was like, "I don't want this." Yeah. Like. Um, but he was like, you know, he really wanted, and I was like, all right, like, <laughs> it's time to, like, open up the palette, <laughs> like, um, so I was open to it, and I'm like, I, you know, and I was, I was shocked, it was like a consomme, mm-hmm. the pollo, mm-hmm. but, and it was spicy, but mm-hmm. with ramen, I was, it was oh, okay. so, so, so good. We're gonna, okay, I ordered some, uh, I think I posted it on Instagram, mm-hmm. I ordered some ramen from China. Because uh-huh. I was tired of the whole fucking uh, uh-huh. the sopa de vaso and shit. Uh-huh. I'm going to give you one, okay? Uh-huh. Okay, okay. It's literally from China. It's so bomb. Uh-huh. The condiments come like in, in a bag, uh-huh. but it's just bomb. Yeah, it's and I just had bomb? It. Yeah, I even like, uh-huh. um, I mean, I cooked some, I did some boiled eggs. Uh, okay. And then I did the, uh, I peeled I peeled the egg, uh-huh. and then I put the, the, the ramen, and okay. it's so good. It's I think you can see it as the black bag right there on top. Okay, I can't see it, but yeah. I see it. Okay, okay. <laughs> but but those little ones too, they came mm-hmm. from China too, and they're bomb too. How'd but you, I, how'd you hear about them? Uh, I actually went to YouTube, fat ass, <laughs> and I was like, best rock. Best <laughs> You know when you're at three in the morning, I, <laughs> in, the, I, in the bed, you know, yeah. like whatever, you know how how do people fucking like what's the scariest shit? <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, so, I used to be like that. Not yeah. anymore. Okay. I've, I appreciate my sleep, so I, mm-hmm. now I just throw my phone. Let me tell you this. I'm yeah. at graveyard shift, so I... No, like, I, that's you know what I understand. <laughs> I know. Yours is different. Your life is different. Yeah. Your life is different. My life's a movie. No. Like, yeah, as long as you're doing what you want, yeah. you're sticking to what you're doing, mm-hmm. and like, you know, putting your energy and your time into your goals and mm. your future, I think that that's, it's always um, a good thing. Yeah. So. I uh, She was asking me earlier, how did I, like, co- like came up on who she was how mm-hmm. how did i find her on instagram and i was telling you that um yeah. i followed this other page that is a podcast as well yeah. and then i saw you as a guest yes you were spinning some dope shit right there <laughs> like big facts is there any type of message that you would want to tell people about like because i do i i could tell a, a little like i could see a little uh, energy from you yeah. that is like positive you know right. what i mean yeah, yeah, i don't yeah. know if you know what i'm i'm happy to, you see that yes yeah. you know and then 
like I would like for you to share something like an advice that you have been doing yeah. lately that has been like made you feel happy because life is about being happy. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree with you. 100. Yeah. Um, and that's a really good question. I feel like right now, specifically in this time, in this era, in like in these two weeks, I've genuinely have um, recalib like recalibrated myself. So I actually just did a Reiki session. What is that? It's uh, basically like it's like it it helps you get in tune and it uh, helps you align your chakras and um, I don't know if you believe in that, but I felt like I kept being called to do it and mm -hmm. um after i did it i had like so much clarity like i was understanding things that were like that were issues and how i was a part of that issue and how i need to fix that so um i think in these past two weeks i've been able to kind of just like decipher things as a far as like okay like this is not okay for me i don't like this this is not okay with for me and i need to get rid of this or how do i subtract this from my life Or how do I, I like doing this, how do I implement this into my life more? Or, um, And then again, it always stems back to the beginning. Like you always have to stay true to yourself. I feel like when you start to like try to please everybody and try to like, you know, um, I don't know about you, but like sometimes we think about people like all the time and like, oh, well, maybe I'm going to do this and then, like, it'll make them happy if I say yes or this and that. But then, like, genuinely, you're really saying no to yourself. It's not a bad thing. Like, yeah. you guys have to grow as 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 as, a, as you, you know? Right. And, like, a lot of people saying, like, cutting people off. Sometimes it's not even that. It's yeah. just, like, you don't see, like, the like, opinion is not important in the yeah. way as let me do this because this is gonna make me happy. Yeah, it's not a line. You guys are not aligned. Yes, yes, you know. So and that's what they say. Like when you're moving in a high, like higher vibrational level, you'll start attracting to like you know you're in another level mm -hmm. where like all these people you're attracting these people in a different level, and like you can't really relate to these people who who are not vibing at the same level that you are. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, which is probably why we you know came into contact mm -hmm. um but definitely that's one that's one thing that you know just uh stay true to yourself for sure that makes you happy and then living in the fucking present mm -hmm. you know sometimes a lot of people be thinking what if there's like shit that already happened and you cannot change it yeah you can't change it you know if you fucked up last week and <laughs> you, know well, I mean? like, yeah, you know like how, what can i learn from that you know yeah take, what, take your lessons learn learn the lesson. learn. learn the lessons though that's like, the truth yeah you know what i mean because yeah. a lot of people be like maybe i should do it again i don't know <laughs> hey, i don't know like, por favor dame un señal dame un señal que like you don't give me a sign and you get the signs and you still don't get the signs yeah. <laughs> but i feel like that's where i'm at right now where like i know the signs and the signs are very um You know, they're very, uh, they're very, vi they're very there for me. Like, mm -hmm. it's kind of like black and white right now. Like, I can see what I need, I need to fix. I know that it's me or if I know that it's the other person or regardless, you know, like, um, like just like today, like it was mm -hmm. I, I, my story. I don't know if you heard, but mm -hmm. <laughs> you heard about, go for it. Go for it. Yeah. I was at Zumba class and then I was having the time of my life. I took an edible before mm -hmm. um, and I was like, okay, this shit's going to hit when I'm in there. I'm just going to there go work out, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, and then like we were the, the, the teacher, she um, she was like, okay, it was a it was a banda song. Mm -hmm. And so everybody was holding on and they were dancing and she's like, okay, grab a partner. And I was like, okay, like everybody grabs a partner, you know, and I'm over here and I'm like, I look to the girl next to me. We're different, completely different people. I get it. You Doesn't could tell. matter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was still like, hey, she's like, no. And I was just like, at first I was like taken back because, you mm -hmm. know, I'm like, I'm a sweet girl. Mm -hmm. I feel like I, I like I just. You don't you don't expect that you don't know? you didn't understand what the fuck was going on at that moment like wait what you know I, yeah it was just kind of like oh shit I'm mm -hmm. like okay like okay like it's just maybe she feels uncomfortable I'm not even sure if she I don't think she was wearing a face mask no she wasn't mm -hmm. wearing a face mask I was like okay cool like did I like mm -hmm. whatever maybe I made her feel uncomfortable maybe I just wasn't like maybe my energy was too much like 
it was okay. I was like, whatever. Mm-hmm. I just kept dancing by myself. And, like, um, I was just, I kind of felt sorry for her in a way. Because mm-hmm. I was just like, um, or maybe it could be that she was just, like, a germaphobe. And she doesn't like to mm. touch anybody, you know? Did she find a partner after or no? No. She oh. didn't find a partner. Polly, that was that. Maybe, yeah. Yeah. But she was always, like, when I would saw her interact with other people, she was just, like, very close. Like, mm. it wasn't, you know, so I, I can't take it too personal. I don't know who she is, whatever. But I was just, like, okay, like, I can't control that. Mm-hmm. But I can control how I react the next second, you know? Mm-hmm. If I react the next second and... Um, you just gotta let people be, you yeah. know? And you don't know what the hell they're going through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's something that I've started to, to do lately where... I used to kind of react of, not in a not in a in a aggressive way or in a weird way, just every time that somebody would do something, I would be like, what "The fuck is wrong with them?" Like type shit, you know. Yeah. But you don't know what the fuck they're going yeah, through yeah, yeah. too. Uh-huh. So we also have to be kind of understandable of them and just mm-hmm. be like, you know, it is what it is, and it's good. It's good. It it shouldn't affect us. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean. It shouldn't affect like, us. Like I hope that your day still is good that's beautiful though that's amazing you know what I mean? a lot, yeah as long as you still wish them well mm-hmm. that's important like because you're the book is like you know like <laughs> how you i heard people like i hope he fucking gets this oh business. yeah and i'm like nah like it's unnecessary exactly you know yeah yeah no yeah you gotta like positive message you guys like everybody just live your life you know whatever it makes you happy you're good don't yeah. don't I'm not saying don't say the whole like oh I don't give a fuck type shit just like in a way if it if you don't give a fuck well you don't yeah, give a fuck you know I guess if you, you can say but it too in a way I guess yeah but don't yeah. let somebody fuck up your day in a way yeah, type yeah, shit you know yeah, what I mean like yeah I agree with you yeah 100%. so there's one thing that we do in the podcast every yeah. time I yeah. hope that you do That's okay. <laughs> do you have any scary stories that has ever happened to you scary stories mm-hmm. Um, paranormal paranormal damn no <laughs> last nigga that was here was talking about aliens and he saw that shit oh shit yes he's like it looked like this fuck <laughs> I mean scary things like what that what is the scary no. shit that has ever to you well like trauma to do for sure like there was okay so I was I was pulling up to the street light mm-hmm. um and I was going to make a left, and I, as soon as I pull in my lane, this guy gets out of his vehicle next to me, and he just goes to my window, he starts screaming, like, you can see how angry he is, he's screaming, and you can see the spit come out of his mouth, you yeah. know, like, the teeth, and I was like, what the fuck, I turned to look, and I was like, and I was just like, I was, already, I had already taken my pre-workout, because I was heading to the gym, and I was already, like, singing, gay, and like, whatever, yeah. And then this whole time, my music is, like, on blast. And I hear him just screaming. And I'm just like, dude, like, this guy's really upset. Like, what did I do? Like, I didn't cut him off. I didn't do nothing. And then he starts to scream and starts spitting on my window. And I was like, fuck, I'm not going to open. I'm not going to bring down my window. But this guy's a stranger. Like, I don't know who he is. Like, and then he starts, like, banging on my window. And I was just like, what the fuck is going on? (laughs) And then when I felt him, like, shake my car with his feet, I was like, I called 911. I was like, yo, like, this is, like... I don't know. I'm being. I think I'm being attacked in my car. Yeah. Um. You know, like send help. Like you know. Fuck. <laughs> and um, I mean that was for sure. Like one one like a scary time. Mm-hmm. Paranormal activities. I haven't had you know any paranormal activity. I feel I, obviously like the only fucking scary shit that I can think about all the time yeah. is like when I was younger and like you were in the shower and you were mm-hmm. fucking like in the dark like oh. or like you close your eyes because you have soap and you're like uh-huh, you know you fuck gotta... scared. yeah <laughs> now I'm cool now I feel safe now I feel like I can wash my face in the dark and not worry about it were you ever one of those kids that like um goes like went to the restroom at night turned off the light and ran to the yeah all the time <laughs> I think every kid has that. yeah that's just scary I feel like and I fucking hated scary movies. I fucking you don't hate till this day. No, like I'll fucking watch it because like people are watching it. But I'm like, even then, I'm like, why am I doing this to myself? Like, hey, yesterday I was here alone <laughs> watching uh Annabelle. Like why? <laughs> like why? I like scary movies. Like, see, my son, yeah. he loves scary yeah. movies. Okay. He's only three. He's well, four. But um, has sh- have you shown him Chucky? Like, the no. original? See, like, I don't want to do that to mm-hmm. him. Like, I, I grew up watching that mm-hmm. shit, and I got scared, so mm-hmm. I don't want to do that. But if he likes it, 
But okay, the like, okay. Is... He likes scary movies. Uh-huh. What kind of scary movies does he like? So for him, scary would be like vampire movies. Mm, okay, okay, okay. I get it. Yeah, like yeah. Halloween mm-hmm. horror, like like just like things. Hocus Pocus. I honestly haven't even shown him Hocus Pocus. I feel like that's just an adult movie, you know. Never thought about that. Why do you say that? Just cause like the, like even the language that they would use in mm. the in the, mm-hmm. like it just wouldn't make any sense. Maybe it would make sense mm-hmm. to him, but like. It's just not something that I... I only said it because it's a Disney movie. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, yeah. that And like the Haunted Mansion. You know Haunted okay. Mansion? So he... I, I never saw that. Oh, With no. Eddie Murphy? Yeah. I never watched He that. wanted to watch that. Uh-huh. He wants to watch the new one. So... Mm, I heard about the new one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That looks fucking scary. <laughs> He's like, I want to watch it, mommy. I'm like, no. Like, I'm like, I don't think so. I think it's too powerful for him. Yeah. Like, you know? He's gonna get scared. Mm-hmm. <laughs> She's like, it's not that I don't want my kid to get scared. I don't want him to wake me up in the middle of the that night. That too, yeah. Like, fuck. Or like, I don't, mommy, like, I need to go pot, like, potty. Like, come with me. And the bathroom's right there. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like I can see you from here. <laughs> <laughs> I try sometimes. Sometimes, no, se sale con la suya. Oh, yeah. I'm like tired. He's yeah. like, mommy, please. When you're an only son, the baby right there. Hey. You know? Yeah, the he's baby. everything. Are you, are you, do you have any siblings, by the way? Yeah, I have one brother, one brother. Older or? He's older than I am. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Did yeah. you feel like you were, like, your parents' favorite? No, I always felt like he was the favorite. Really? Just because, like, compraron todo, like, to make his dreams come true, for sure. Mm-hmm. I felt like, you know, they would buy him his drums, they would buy him a piano, they would buy him, obviously I could use it too, mm-hmm. but, like, it was more so, like, they were pursuing him. Mm-hmm. But. He's a musician? No, he's not a mus- I mean, I think if he, he loves music, mm-hmm. he's an artistic person. He's an event. He's an event designer. He also manages properties. Oh, nice. Um, but he has such a creative eye, and he does like graphic design. Anything you want, creative, like he can get it done for you. You know. Mm, that's nice. Yeah, and um, I feel like yeah, like my brother in the in the beginning, I think he always wanted to be a singer. He wanted to pursue like directing. He wanted to pursue. Uh, music and like i felt like my parents wanted to help mm-hmm. him do that i mean as a parent you, yeah that's what you want yeah, to do yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. How, so what did you want to do <laughs> i mean yeah i wanted to be a singer i wanted to mm-hmm. be a back to, like a dancer like you know just make magical things if this video gets 10 likes she has to go to the studio record one song and release it and we'll post it right here oh, we'll po- i'll post it for you on the, on everybody's gonna like it I'm, yeah. if i share it they're gonna like it okay you gotta you gotta like this shit get this to 10 likes what do and, you want to hear some spanish okay what, some... what 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 do you feel what do you feel like you like your soul what do you feel like like let's say r&b english mm-hmm. uh sharing your feelings in spanish or do you just want to go like some cardi b Big Lotto like, shit. Sometimes I do. I'm just like, you know, like I feel like that, like that vibe. But, yeah. Um, and then also sometimes I feel like I want to just sing to the top of my lungs, mm-hmm. you know? So just like a mixture for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, but just being able to like, you know, have a, vi- a song that people can like, you know, vibe with. And like once you hear it, like you hear it gets catchy and catchy mm-hmm. and catchy. Um, but definitely... Yeah, I think I'd be up to anything, to be mm-hmm. honest. Not country, though. I don't know if I could say <laughs> I was going to tell you that shit. I hate country. Yeah, I don't know if I could... I love Spanish country. You do? Oh, okay. okay like, okay. like yeah. if... Like, I guess mm-hmm. you would consider, like... Is, would you consider, like, ranchera? Or... Okay, in the... That's a good That's a good question. Um, rancheras? I believe that it is. Because I don't fuck with it. <laughs> you know, because I don't fuck with country. Uh-huh, yeah, so yeah. rancheras neither, you know. Yeah. But there are some good ranchera songs. So I don't yeah. you know, I don't I wouldn't I wouldn't put them in the same in the same area, but mm. I mean it's like comparable, I would yeah. say. There's, I definitely compar- would do for sure bilingual. Mm, Spanglish. Okay, okay. Yeah. I would either rap in Spanglish mm-hmm. or I would like sing in the Spanish. How's English. how's your Spanish? I think it's actually really good now. Yeah. yeah. Now. I, now. Yeah. What do you when mean? When I that? when I was growing up, mm-hmm. I spoke like re- like my Spanish was really 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 good, mm-hmm. but then growing up, um, I had to learn English. Mm-hmm. So my Spanish just went from like a ten to like a two. Oh you know? shit! And not until like I for a while I couldn't even say pajaro. Pajaro. 
I'm gonna be separado. <laughs> I mean, it's, 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 it's like, it's, it makes sense, you know, just such a couple yeah. of words. Sure. And I feel like even right now, I'm being lazy about learning the seven and the six when you say 60 and 70 in mm. Spanish. Okay. Like, 60. Oh, six yeah. Cent. I mean, like, that's for everybody. That's for everybody. Yeah? Because, um, or for you and me. <laughs> <laughs> when somebody tells me that, I'll be like, yeah. say cero or siete cero. Yeah, you know, that... Just to make sure, you know. But like... Yeah, I always do that at the register. <laughs> hey, so, uh, when he's talking in Spanish. Yeah. Si con seis y cero centavos. Seis y cero centavos. Or like sometimes I'll, I'll feel like like confident and I'll say it out loud and I'll yeah. be like, hopefully you fucking understand the game. Hopefully, right yeah. There. Can you say the word um, para Pare... What does it say? You can't even say it. <laughs> just hold kidding. On, hold on. No, hold on. I got stuck. Hold on. I know, I know. I just, I'm just saying. I'm going to say it again. Parangucatirimicuaro. <laughs> Parangucatirimicuaro. That's a Mexican city. Uh-huh. That's a Mex- Mexican city in uh, Mexico. Of All of them fucking sound like that. Like, watch up, play, play. Oh, like, yeah. Hey, there's a, lot, there's a lot of dialects. Uh, yeah, there is. And I would, like... It's so crazy because when you when you go to Mexico, you hear people talking like differently, and you're and it's like it's it's so dope because that's literally like Aztec language and shit, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's it's amazing to to like people be communicating mm-hmm. and you're like fuck what they saying, you know? Like they're saying yeah. like this fool look like a gringo type shit. Like, <laughs> like hey, it's Nike. <laughs> We're gonna eat him. <laughs> 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 you're thinking about some other yeah, shit. I know. Uh, have you seen the movie uh, 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 Apocalypto? Yeah, yeah, that yeah. was actually one of my favorite movies. Really? Yeah. What was your favorite part of that movie? Um, I think uh, definitely like when the mother uh, gave birth in the tunnel, mm. and she was able to sustain like taking care of her son and the newborn, mm-hmm. and just kind of having hope for that her man to come back. And you he know? did. And he came back for real her. asshole. Yeah, real <laughs> ass guy. Um, for real. <laughs> I, which I think is um, you know, um. Which I think you know gives me hope for men. Mm-hmm. You know, definitely. What do you? What, what's your? What's your opinion on men? Yeah. Uh, like uh, this time, I would say. I feel like a lot of people are just living their best lives right now, so regardless, they don't care about who they're having. You know what? what? Before you actually came, I was yeah. actually thinking about this shit. I don't know if you talk to yourself. I do a lot. I do. I find myself talking to myself <laughs> in the car, yeah. in the shower. Out loud or just. Like, right. literally, like, let's like say, how, okay, this is, this is weird, but hey, uh-huh. don't judge me. <laughs> exactly how I'm talking to her, uh-huh. it's how I talk to myself. Okay. Like, I feel like I'm talking to myself. Yeah. So, let's say I'm sitting down there, uh-huh. and I'm just talking to myself in a, in a way that I could understand myself, too. Because everybody, sometimes a lot of people will be thinking that what they think is right, but uh-huh. sometimes we gotta admit that some things, you know, were wrong, you know? So I try to understand myself in that way, you know? Yeah. And I've been doing it for a long time. And it's just like, it's kind of crazy because when people be singing, you just stop. Yeah. <laughs> and you just like pretend that you're singing, <laughs> you know? Or something. But I was thinking about that shit. I was like, um, like what kind of girl would I would I end up with, you know? And uh, I was thinking that uh, like my ex, mm-hmm. she was literally, uh, a lot of people would like confuse her with like Kim Kardashian and shit. Uh-huh. So I was like, I was happy, but it but it, to the point that I, she wasn't, she wasn't it, and I wasn't happy. Mm-hmm. So I was thinking about that. I was like, okay. Why? Because she was. Weird. Sorry, go ahead. So no, no. What is your question? No, no. I was just gonna say why would you, would it get you jealous for the no, attention? No, or? no. That is that is not even that. Yeah. It's just that I feel like she didn't have the respect. Okay. Um, and it was just like she was still she was ten years older than me, uh-huh. and she was still like. Uh, she wanted to do a lot of shit. And myself, I like to be at home, to be honest. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, at the same time, I did respect her by, okay, you like to go out? Let's go out. Uh-huh. But I would like for you to respect me, too, when I say, hey, let's stay in and watch a movie. Yeah. Let's, let's stay there, you know? Yeah. So, at a point, I wasn't happy. And I was just thinking about that shit. I was like, what would I, what kind of girl would I want to end up with uh-huh. if I was, like, rich? You know, okay. you know what I mean. Yeah. And this is inter- interesting topic because supposedly when you have money, you could have any type of girl that you like. Okay. But for myself, yeah. I was thinking about that. If I was rich, uh-huh. I would have liked to have a simple girl. Okay. That is not even like out there type shit. You know, because I'm I know that I'm not out there, uh-huh. and I wouldn't want to 
change a girl's life by telling her, okay, I have this much money, but you got to stay at home. You know, yeah. like I wouldn't want to fuck that up for yeah. her because I don't know if she likes to go to the club. Yeah. She likes to go here. Yeah. She likes to go over there. So out of respect, I wouldn't be with that person. You know what okay, I mean? Okay, yeah. Because so, you wouldn't respect the relationship, Exactly, right? yeah, yeah. Because you don't, wanna, you don't want somebody to just be there and be like miserable. But they're saying, oh, but this nigga got money. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I was just thinking about that shit and I was thinking about myself. Like I was like... Okay, the type of, of female that I would like to have is a girl that, yes, likes to go to dinner, got, likes to go to trip every, trips every now and then. Uh, I go to the clubs at least, like, three times a year. Okay. I, okay, and the reason why is because I went two years, uh-huh. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Oh, yeah, for te two, Y me canse. Yeah, te canse. House parties in South Central. Yeah. Clubs in Hollywood. Clubs in the Valley. Clubs in places that I don't remember, <laughs> but I know I was there. Uh-huh. So it's just, it's tiring for yeah, me already, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? But as I said, I have to have respect for that person that I'm going to be with okay. and not try to be like, okay, if you want to be with me, you can't do this. That's respectful. You know That's what I mean? very respectful of you. Yeah, because I'm not just thinking about myself. I'm right. thinking about that person, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, So, like, for you, what kind of, like, what kind of um, man would you like, like, let's say, to end up with? Like, do you have a certain type of... Not even type, just like uh, uh, energy, you know? Yeah, definitely. I need to feel safe. Mm-hmm. And this is important in the vehicle. Mm-hmm. Like in the vehicle. Like, And I feel like a lot of girls might relate to this. Like, you need to feel safe in the car mm-hmm. with the person. I feel like um, sometimes, like, some people, like, just drive or, like, there's just this energy in the car where, like, you don't feel safe. Like, where you just feel like, fuck, like... I can't, I don't know if I could trust this person to break at that time. You want to be able to, to sleep in the car with the person. Yeah, I want to be able to look outside and be like, oh my God, that's so beautiful. Like, Without you know? being like, hey, nigga, there's a stop Yeah, I'd be like, hey, hey. I'm like, I'm holding on, like, fuck, you know? You know what that's called? I don't know. This that, is a, it's called the oh shit bar. Oh shit bar. Yeah, okay, that's, yeah. What, video that's, that. a, that's what I hold it's on called to. The, like, the oh shit bar. <laughs> yeah, like, I, and I, it sucks because, like, sometimes, like, but when it's signs like that, it's kind of like telling you like this is not mm-hmm. this is not a comfortable. It don't thing. matter. It don't matter who it is. Yeah, it doesn't mm-hmm. matter who it is. Like, it just you can be hot as fuck. You can be whatever you are. You can have a million dollars. But if I don't feel safe in the car with you, I don't. I don't see how. Like it's just I don't know. Mm-hmm. It's just scary, you know. Guys, go to driving school. If you want to meet her. Yeah, or just Try. don't be on your phone. Don't be yeah. thinking. Don't be texting. Don't be... Like, look at... Enjoy. Enjoy the... Like, enjoy the street. I don't know. Hey, that's what I've been doing lately. Yeah. Um, When I get out from work, I used to, like, bump music. Now, I don't... I don't... I just turn it off and yeah. just drive. Just drive, yeah. And And as I said, I just talk to myself. <laughs> but I'm focusing on what I'm doing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, but that's another thing that I've been, I've been doing lately. Like, I don't be bumping music uh-huh. too much. Like, when I'm coming from work, you know, of course, when I'm, like, going out, of course, I'm going to bump music, you know. But usually, I ha- lately, coming from work, I haven't bumped music. It's just, like, you have to be alone with your thoughts sometimes. Yeah. And so, this in the car is the perfect time. Yeah. I don't know if you have ever done that before. Yeah, I always do that a lot, mm-hmm. a lot of the time. There, mean, there's a certain time, like, that you feel like, okay, let me bump some. Yeah. Some peso pluma. <laughs> or, like, whatever. Or, like, be listening to music, but I'll still be my thoughts. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know? What do, you, what do you what do you use if yeah. this is a little personal um yeah. what's your social security no I'm kidding <laughs> what do, <laughs> do you I have one? <laughs> what do you usually think about like when on in like on your personal space like in your head what is one thing that that you would want to share uh that you think that you know a lot of people might relate to definitely I feel like oh just reminding yourself that things are okay mm-hmm. you know like todo todo va a estar bien todo está bien um you know, it's going to be your time with, with, with whatever. Just take it, like, be easy on yourself. Because mm-hmm. sometimes, like, you expect so much and, like, people expect so much of what they think of you or they have their perception of you or vice versa. Like, you know, you're already someone's mom and you're like, like, what image is that? And, like, just all this mm-hmm. shit. But it's just kind of like, but I'm also, like, I'm still growing up. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm still, like... You know, and it's also been like a year where I haven't been 
with the person I was married with mm -hmm. a little bit over a year. Um, so it's like also finding myself again. Mm -hmm. So I just, I just try to be nice to myself. Like, you know, sometimes I'm just like, fuck, like I should have a flattered stomach or mm -hmm. I should be this or I Zumba. Should... Yeah. Zumba. <laughs> Zumba. But Zumba cardio food, mm -hmm. no soda for sure. You don't drink soda. Okay. I don't drink soda. I, I have, mm -hmm. I have like indulgence in like a jarrito. Sometimes mm. it looks so yeah. fucking good. Like. The jarrito looks so delicious. Like, don't bring a tutti frutti in front of me because I want to drink that. Yeah. Hey, jarrito is soda. <laughs> just, just in case for the people. Like, yeah, it's jarrito. It's jarrito. It's a soda. Jarritos is delicious. Which, would you, what's your favorite flavor? Uh, my favorite one is the orange one. Not, uh, mandarina. Oh, See, and, and tamarindo. See, they're good. I've, I don't, I've never fucked with... The, I, I like lemonade so much. Uh -huh. As you, you can yeah, see, yeah. but I've I don't I don't like the the green one, the lime or the the fresa when I think or is it fruit Tutti punch? Free? Yeah, the, Tutti yeah? Free, the red one. Yeah, I only fuck with either is tamarindo or uh not uh tam uh what's it called uh the orange one. Mandarina. Mandarina. Yeah. yeah. So what did you? Why don't you like tutti frutti? I don't know. It just it's just. When's the last time you tried it? Never. Oh my god. <laughs> no, okay, 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 okay. I tried it once uh -huh. and then I just like, yeah, I like the other ones better. Yeah. And in between like mandarina and tamarindo, mm -hmm. tamarindo. Got it. So let's say if I do go eat tacos and shit, like mm -hmm. I'll have that one. Okay, okay. You know, I like the tamarindo one. Uh, mm -hmm. I also like, let's say, for for sodas, I like like limey. Like like for Gatorade, I like lime. Okay. You know, and orange as well. So okay. I guess I have the like same that preference. Tangy yeah, I have the same. That, that, there we go. Cause the, have you ever tried um that uh I, I don't know what's it called. I forgot it's about like the it. Like the nail vibes, that's the vibes, like tangy, tangy vibes. She did her nails today. Citrus nails. Yeah. Hey, do you want yeah. that? You said that that relaxes you. That's like your um. Yeah. That's where you. Nails done. That, what What did you say earlier? That that's your um. Like. I treat myself. Uh huh. Like, yeah, like, and you enjoy it. Huh? Yeah. I, I I think that the nails is the same thing as guys when they get it, when the they haircut. get haircut. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Which I think like I should do that. Like, mm -hmm. you know, I feel like it's like kind of like their way of like showing their um their personality mm -hmm. and like their self of being and stuff. Um. So I do like when guys express themselves through mm -hmm. their hair. That's I think that's a something that I find attractive in men as well. Um. But um, yeah, I do love to do my nails. Um, I love. I think I love to be pampered. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm learning that about myself, and I am ready to receive like whatever I could do to pamper myself. Mm -hmm. I'm up for it. I feel like it just. I. I maybe you know sometimes you don't need to do that. You don't need to get your nails done. You mm -hmm. don't need to get your toes done. You don't need to get your lashes done. I get it. I've been mm -hmm. there, done that, whatever. But right now, yeah, she I wants want to, to get my nails done. She wants to, yeah. yeah, I want to get my toes done, my lashes. <laughs> um, the only thing I don't do is I don't dye my hair anymore. You used to? I used to dye my okay, hair okay. a lot. Yeah, but now I'm just like embracing the mm -hmm. Latina, my, my yeah. shoes. Yeah, you got nice hair. Thank you, yeah. yeah. But it took, like, before I used to burn it a lot. I used oh, to okay. be blonde. I used to, like, dye it all the time. Mm -hmm. And then, like, which I love, like, people with blonde mm -hmm. hair, people who do it, like, the art of, you know, creating a look is amazing, but it's just, like, that was something that for sure, like, was, like, damaging to my hair, mm -hmm. so. What kind of color nails do you usually always get? I always do solids. I don't do design. I cannot, I cannot do design. <laughs> you don't like the diamonds? I don't like diamonds. Uh -huh. I don't like anything, like, I feel like when I see girls do it, I think, oh, that's mm -hmm. so cute. Yeah. Like, that's cute. Like, one of my coworkers, um. She gets like teddy bear gummies, like mm -hmm. everything, and like I think like just crazy nail designs, mm -hmm. and I'm just like, like that's cool, that's so nice. What do you say is not for you? Yeah, not for me. There we go. Yeah, it's not. It's not that it's bad. It's just yeah, like it's yeah, it's just not for me. Yeah, I, just because like I look, you you're looking at your hands the majority of the time. Mm -hmm. I feel. Yeah. Like, I do see my hands mm -hmm. a lot, so. Like seeing something like that, it's just like <laughs> when you look so much. <laughs> it's just it's just hard to like look at something. Yeah, you know, mm -hmm. like not not my hands. Like I can't. I look. think one of the reasons why I kind of didn't work out with my ex is because she used to want me to wear colors. Mm -hmm. I hate colors. Yeah. Look what I'm wearing. Yeah, black. that's all I wear. Uh -huh. As you can see, everything right there. All black. I don't know why. Yeah. My shoes look all black. Which is cool, you know. That's your yeah, vibe. That's my vibe. Yeah, that's my vibe. Yeah, and I feel strange with other like, like um, I feel strange with like fruity colors. Uh -huh. You know, like with like popping colors. I can't wear like, like 
uh, neon colors. You know what yeah. I mean? Like it's not it's not bad. It's just yeah. that it's not. I just feel weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, it's not for me. I'd be like, nah, I'm too noticeable. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't want people. <laughs> I mean, one day you're gonna probably be wearing a pink shirt and you're gonna be rocking. I, and you're I, be... I don't mind that. Yeah. It's just not for me. But I do, I do, I did buy a shirt that is black that has a little bit of orange, and just for that I bought these. It gave you a little open door. Yeah, but that's cool because there's like black in it. Oh, that's. Cute. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. So, I, okay, cool. I'll wear those. Uh-huh. You know, but as I said, uh, it's combined with like yeah. black. Yeah, so yeah. I'm able to use that. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. Yeah. I used to be in that stage too. Mm-hmm. But right now I'm like being open to mm-hmm. colors. Mm, okay, okay. Like this is probably recently. Yeah, okay. recently. Because before I would, but like now it's just kind of like okay, what am I gonna do? What color am I gonna get? Like, ideally, if I don't like a color, I can change it. But what kind of dress color do you wear when you go to dinner? Like when somebody like wants to take you to dinner. See, that's the thing about me though. Like sometimes I'm like I want to do just all black, but then sometimes I see a red pink dress. I was like, damn, like I could rock that. Like that'd yeah. be cute on me, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but then like sometimes I'll just, I'll either end up with my black dress or mm-hmm. um like summer vibes. I'll just switch it up. Mm-hmm. I'll be more open to more color you know or like people would be like oh color looks really nice on you you should try it and I'm like damn like what does what does why why does it why do I feel uncomfortable when mm-hmm. I'm wearing color mm-hmm. you know and I started to think about it like am I drawing too much attention like mm-hmm. what you were saying and then oh I'm you just, say the same thing yeah, yeah, yeah in my head like and if I do like and then most likely it's like if it looks good then I'll like I'll feel mm-hmm. good you know mm-hmm. like if I'm wearing a like, shirt sure, and I'm able to like pair it casually with another like matte color then it's you know but i can't do like fluorescent 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 Mm -hmm. i don't think so not yet unless someone sends me an outfit yeah you're like that i have to wear (laughs) i'll be like like for some kids or a wedding you know or not that too but like hopefully you know in the near future i will get pr packages and like you know people will send Mm -hmm. me clothes to wear and like Sometimes they might throw in a color that mm-hmm. I'm not like I don't yeah. really fuck with, but it's which just like, which which is the color that you don't fuck with at all. That you'd be like, oh, I I can't do that. Oh, I don't know. I do ha- I do like how yellow looks on me. Mm. I like how blue looks on me. I honestly don't know what color to be honest. Maybe personal question. Yeah. If you don't want to answer, you don't have to. Okay. Yeah. But for you said that you were married. Yeah. So for your wedding, did you have like bright bridesmaid? No, I didn't have any. Oh, okay. I was gonna ask you what color. Okay, uh, if you did, what color would you pick them to like wear? I would want them to wear either like maybe black. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Invite me to your wedding. <laughs> <laughs> to your next. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I was like, I was gonna, I was gonna say that thing. Like, if I ever get married, until like, you gotta tell your homies to wear black. Yeah. The homies, the tux. You yeah. know, and the guests, if you ain't wearing black, you can't come in. The black is the black. Yeah, I feel like it's a, it's, it's, my brother loves wearing black too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I, I don't, I love the color too. It's just, like even my, all majority of my purses are black. All of them. Okay, okay. Yeah. Unless like, yeah. If I, if I get to choose, I'll choose a black purse. Mm-hmm. Um. What if somebody gives you a, uh, uh, okay. What is the color that you don't like? Do you like this color? Like the green the one? The lime green? Yeah. Somebody gives you a Birkin. That color. Summer vibes. Yeah. <laughs> Summer vibes. It's a Birkin. Trip, like trip vibes. Miami vibes. Yeah. But it would be cool if they gave you a black one though. Oh, like, shit. If they said black one, then that's sexy. How much does a Birkin go for? Like a Birkin go for? Honestly, I don't even fuck <laughs> I don't even know. You gotta, you gotta DM 6 9 Hey, 6 9 Hey, hey can, so, someone hook me with the purse? No. <laughs> Bebecito. <laughs> you gotta... it, it, honestly, like, we were just talking to Manash girl about it. Like, you know, mm-hmm. uh, she complimented my purse. And I was like, it's okay, go one day. It's gonna be a, a Chanel, you know? Yeah. And then, um, which I'm pretty sure I've had opportunities where I could have bought myself a mm-hmm. purse. But just that wasn't my priority, I guess. What's the, what's the most expensive uh, purse that you have ever gotten? Um, that I bought for myself. Mm-hmm. Oh wait, you got niggas. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, no. for yourself. <laughs> for myself. Um, I love gifts though. Don't okay. take it wrong. Okay, I love gifts. Um, but for myself, I don't know. I think it. I don't know. I think it was. I don't know if it's this one. I think I think it was this one. This monkey was it? 
Moschino? We're gonna try this one right now. Okay, oh, that one? Oh, yeah. yeah, I heard about that. I've never, I don't know what that is, though, but I heard about it. Um, But that's the most expensive one. How much is that? that? It was, I actually got it on clearance. Yeah. It was like $500, and then I, um, but it was 200 mm. Plus, I had a gift card, and then, like, you know, I used it the for The coupons that. and shit. Yeah. You gotta be smart. I just, well, it's because the thing is, too, like, every time I go out, I want to just, like, exclusively either go... Um, to go shop for my son mm-hmm. to get because he's fucking he, he needs shoes all the time mm-hmm. and I, I love tennis shoes I love tennis shoes I love shoes um, and I feel like if I had more money to splurge on I would buy myself a lot of shoes mm-hmm. um, I went crazy all these yeah. shoes that you see these five pairs yeah. and these three pairs I bought them like in two weeks but and how much did you spend on them? like almost a thousand yeah you see when you're single and out of a relationship you, you, you just go crazy <laughs> i went to a restaurant and i saw my check i was like 20 bucks fuck i used to waste 120 Damn. you know so i'm like how long have, uh, if you don't mind me asking how long have, have you been single for uh i would say since uh october oh, how, how much okay. is that like seven six months seven, six months yeah. yeah but i've been super happy a lot of people said that they saw the change in me because i'm a very happy person okay the way that i act and shit yeah and I wasn't like that when I was with somebody. It's because, I don't know, it's just, you just have to kind of, um, you got to take that person, like, in a serious, uh, like, you just got to, like, I wouldn't want to say change neither, but you want to accommodate, you know, towards what, what the, you were saying, like, respect. Mm-hmm, exactly. Yeah. So it's like, I just didn't feel it, you know, and I was like, yeah, I got to, I got to get out. I got to get out, you know, okay. and I wasn't happy. So you were, you were, you were the one that was like. Yeah, okay. so. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, as I said, like, she she was very beautiful as fuck. But yeah. only because the person that you're with is, you know, girls-wise, yeah. handsome, guys, beautiful girl. Doesn't mean, you know, because a lot of yeah. people were telling me, damn, what the fuck you laughed? Like, yeah. mom-ass girl. <laughs> and I was like, nah, like, uh-huh. like I wasn't happy. So yeah, there's yeah. like, it's it's just, I see a big, a big difference. Okay. And I'm able, yeah, I, as I said, I stopped blogging. I stopped hanging out with my friend because I would, like, just work and just be with her, which I don't mind, okay. you know, but because it was kind of like a wifey and, and husband type because we used to live together, too. Okay. And since uh, her parents were rich, we used to live in a, in a like, in a, uh-huh. a one point, $1.1 million house. So yeah. even, and she even gave me, like, a car. Uh-huh. Like, she bought me a lot of shoes, clothes, but that wasn't, like... It wasn't for Yeah, I was a sugar baby. You were a sugar but, baby? But. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, as I said, you just have to be happy. Yeah. If you're not happy, mm-hmm. you just, like, you just, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you know? Acknowledging that, though, is, mm-hmm. is what's important for sure. Because I feel like not a lot of people acknowledge. That, or, like, they know that already about them about it. And, and that put me in a perspective where I saw a lot of, like, I saw a lot of females mm. being in a position where, they're comfortable with that person and they're just there. Yeah. And yet the guy's like mistreating them, hitting them, cheating on them. But they're there because they're stable. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. And you see it a lot. I don't know if you do. Do you feel like you were able to be creative? No. I feel like you, you seem like you, get, you give me the energy that you're a creative person. Yeah. So, yeah, I think it's also hard when you're not able to be able to or you're not or you, the environment's not free for you to be expressing yourself creatively mm-hmm. like, this is the first time i talk about this by yeah, the way okay uh-huh. so uh <laughs> when i first you know got with that person i would drive to to the house fast yeah then i would lag it <laughs> to get there <laughs> yeah i'll be like i'll take the wrong exit the entrance is, the, the entrance is different <laughs> yeah so it yeah. was just like ah oh, i don't want to like i just don't want to be there oh, i'll just be in my car for like, like five how long minutes did you do that for Shit, I was with her for like a year and I did that shit for like eight months. Oh my god. Yeah. I was crazy. like, and I was just, I'm okay, I'm a type of person that, as I said, everybody has to respect everybody's opinion. Right. Me personally, me personally, I know it exists, mm-hmm. uh, which is um, mental health. I know it exists. Yeah. I know it does. Okay. But I don't believe in it. You know what I'm saying? I know it does. It does exist. But I don't believe in it to the point where it's not for me type okay. shit, you know? But, damn, I felt that shit. <laughs> I felt that shit. Yeah. I was, like, fucking 
I was just like shut yeah. down. So you know now what I mean? you feel like you believe in it? It's not even that. It's just that it's it wasn't that. It was just like I ain't trying to be here type shit. Got it. But I wasn't like crying about it type shit. I wasn't like whining about it. I was just like, okay, I'm not. I don't want to be here type shit. Uh-huh. But you were still there. But I was still there. Yeah. But as I said, I did feel it a little bit. Uh-huh. And I was like, oh, shit, is that, is that what people feel like? Yeah. You know what I mean? Because I, I do believe it. I know yeah. it exists. I know uh-huh. that. Yeah. But I it's, think for different people, it's different. Yeah. Sure. Maybe you have your, your perception about that. Because as soon as I was out, mm-hmm. I was already like, I'm done. Mm-hmm. And it's fucked up because I actually had an ex-girlfriend. And I'm so sorry, but I forgot your name. Mm-hmm. I did. That's fucked up. And a lot of yeah. people, I told that shit to people and they were like, that's fucked up. But it's not my fault because I'm not like, when I'm there, I'm there. Yeah. And when I'm not, it's just like. Yeah, irrelevant. Yeah. yeah. Like, I don't go through the whole breakup situation. Like, Got it. You know, like. But I do want to let your listeners know that mental health is. No, no, it is. 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 But I just said. It's real. It's real. That's what I'm trying to say. It's real. Yeah. I'm not, not to dismiss like yeah. whatever you feel. Yeah. But. Like I went to the, I went through like the worst postpartum depression. Yeah. So all my Latino parents out there just know that it's a real thing. Because you know? uh, sorry for interrupting yeah. you, but Latino parents be like that. They yeah. be like, ponte, ponte verga, yeah. ponte verga, you know. Uh, like you know, tienes que tienes yeah. que salir, tienes que salir, and and um, just know that what you're feeling. Like obviously, it's, it's important. It's yeah. important. You have yeah. to. You have to. If you feel that, it's like kind of like a recognition. Your body is mm-hmm. recognizing something that's not right. Mm-hmm. So listen to the recognition. Mm-hmm. Um, and if you if you're not able to like if the people around you are not able to help you or they're not, um, you know, just go, just how you Google everything or just like in the morning you type in a certain website. Like just type in like help. You know, a postpartum you know, for mm-hmm. parents or whatever it is, but just know it's real. And like, I promise you that there is help for you if you either yes. look for it, you know. And let me tell you this, I'm going to let her humble me today because what she said is real. Yes, it is real. And if you need help, you you got, you know, there's there's always people that could help you out, you know. Yeah. And the reason why I say that is because I do that with my son now. Mm-hmm. Because with my son, I was sometimes like that too. Yeah. Where I would be like, like no, you you gotta be like this. You gotta mm-hmm. do this. You gotta do this. And now I just let him be whatever he wants, and he's happy as hell. Yeah, you know, uh, he's about to be thirteen this year. Oh damn! So, <laughs> like, oh, damn. oh damn! <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh-huh. but as I said, yes, I believe that parents, especially like Latino parents, mm-hmm. have to kind of be more understandable of their kids. Right. We, well, again, like they also have to relearn everything because maybe. The majority of them weren't, you know, mm-hmm. um, everything is new to them too. Like mm-hmm. the new, the new idea or the new, like relearning everything is also what your parents have to do or like older mm-hmm. traditions have to do. Um, because, you know, they weren't raised to like understand mental mm-hmm. health either. Yeah, They were just raised to just, you know, make your kid, make a family, mm-hmm. deal with your family, be with your family. And that was just basically... <laughs> Oh my god, that scared me. That was one scary thing. (laughs) Yeah, that's scary. That shit was scary as fuck. That's all I gotta say. Oh my god. There was like a video like that too that I saw earlier. Like how this guy got so fucking scared. Like, like he got so startled by her sinking. Um, he got he got scared. Yeah, he was like he was peaceful, and she starts to sing like, ah! <laughs> like you know, like, and he was just like, oh shit. Do you be do you be on TikTok? No, I used to be on. I used to do TikTok because oh. I, um, you know, I when I started to like, kind of like see where I was gonna like either take my Instagram to or like what I, what content mm-hmm. I wanted to produce. Um, I was also on on TikTok because I know that I needed to be on all these platforms, mm-hmm. but I felt like. Um, just with everything I was going and every everything that's happening, yes, I could probably manage a TikTok and maybe yes, I can manage it. Maybe I could do a YouTube mm-hmm. or maybe I could do all of this, but mm-hmm. like one step at a time, you know for sure. Like, what is your goal right now to like towards social media? I feel like definitely just like showing. Um, I think from like the bat, like I guess like uh, uh, the feedback that I've been getting is like more so like a lifestyle. Like, what's mm-hmm. my life like? 
whatever, you know, welcome to my life. You know, mm-hmm. that's what I guess I could do. Like, because I liked, oh, shit. <laughs> they are just getting scared oh time. fuck um, it, hey, it, it is East LA okay I want to tell you oh but fuck <laughs> someone gonna break in here with the fucking <laughs> oh, no you're safe sorry about um, that technical difficulties <laughs> Ghetto activities. Get, oh, ghetto activities. <laughs> this is my first time being over here. So. Really? Is this late? I mean, I think so. Have you ever seen the know. Have you ever seen the movie Blood In Blood Out? No. 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 Damn. So she's not Mexican. No I'm kidding. I mean, <laughs> okay. I've seen a lot of movies, but I don't. I don't. I, or maybe I have, and I don't even remember. This street is a, a kind of, a, I would say, monumental. Oh fuck. Because they filmed it right here. Uh-huh. And I don't know if you heard of the Pino, the East LA Pino. No. no, it's like right there, and there's a mural right here. Uh-huh. It's uh, it's called Blood and Blood. If you ever like are interested in yeah. watching, it. it's about gang shit though. But, okay, okay. But it's like uh, for East LA, it's like uh-huh. the the movie that put East LA oh, in the map it. type oh, shit. You know. Okay, I see. But but yeah, uh, <laughs> don't be I'm scared. You're scared. good. <laughs> I'm over here. Like, I think it's my car. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it is. I I. I've only got it like not kidding. Oh fuck! <laughs> no, as long good. as I don't get no fucking tickets, that's all I'm. Yeah, that was good. Hey, but when you yeah. came here, there's parking, right? There's Always, parking, yeah. yeah. And right now it's because they're uh they're doing some construction over here, mm-hmm. so that's why there was like some two vans right here. Yeah, but yeah. It's always like you know. There's always parking. Yeah, there's always parking and stuff, you know. Yeah, that's was hard. Like last time I went into, I was at the studio, mm-hmm. and I come out of the studio and. Um, what it city? Was, it was in Korea in Koreatown. I used to live there. Yeah. Yeah. Where at? What? What's? I it? don't even know where it was. I think it was on the. Uh, I I forgot the streets, mm-hmm. but I was on a main street, mm-hmm. and I come out, and then I just see like my. You know how like the mirror, the side mirrors have like a cap, mm-hmm. and then it has like the mirror in the front. Yeah. So this was like all crashed and shattered on the ground. I was like, what the. F- what? Happened to us. Like every shit. time something good happens for me, something like you know. Yeah, and but, you have to stay positive. Yeah, and I'm just like, whoa! Like, what am I gonna do? Cry here? Yeah. Like, pick up. Like, I, I used to have a Cadillac, and they stole both of my fucking mirrors on the yeah. side. And I had my sister. I was like, look over there and tell me if I'm good. She was like, Yeah, you're, you're good. good. <laughs> <laughs> but you see, I have the mirrors still. But okay. I need to buy the cap. I think it's only like forty six bucks. You have a nice car. I'm not gonna mention what yeah. the type of car, but I like that. Shit. I have a, I have the same car by the way. Yeah, I try to keep it just yeah. like. Clean, have you ever had that car? How long? Yeah. Uh, my long that I had that car for like what two years now? Two years. Yeah. Okay. What yeah. what Yours? kind? Uh, well, she gave it to me. Remember I told you. Oh yeah, she gave uh, it. To me. like two years too. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, but it's like it's very that brand is very mm-hmm. um reliable. It's good. Yeah, I feel he gave me, um my my son's dad gave me okay. the car too. Yeah, you're over here pimping people. But I'm <laughs> over here, but I'm still paying for it. I'm paying oh, for yeah. the car, yeah. Um, which you know. She was like, "Here, daddy." <laughs> just like now, now I have to pay for it. Which, yeah. which it is what it is, you know. Mm-hmm. But. Do you pay a lot for it, by the way? Um, not really, no. I don't think so. Like, what, like, threes, three seventy five, like with insurance, everything, like a oh, hundred. I think oh, that's okay. cheap. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that is. Yeah. I feel like some some people are paying like a thousand dollars for their car note. Oh, that's a lot. Hell yeah. yeah, I wouldn't. Not not right now. Mm-hmm. But you know, one day I'll be able to pay cash for a car. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, what do you, what, uh, if you don't mind, where, yeah. what, do you, what do you do for a living? So I'm a, I guess you would say, I, the, the proper way to say mm-hmm. it, it's a sales associate. Mm-hmm. Um, I work for a cannabis company. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay. I won't say where, yeah. but I'll just say like, um, yeah, yeah, I work for a cannabis company. This shit right here, boy. <laughs> this shit right here. <laughs> I mean, so, I want, you, oh, because I don't want to like, you know, <laughs> I think I'm private about where I work because I just. Sometimes you just never know who's gonna show up. Mm-hmm. You just gotta be extra careful. Yeah, I, mm-hmm. I just feel like you don't you don't know like, like, um, and that's the thing about opening yourself to like social media like, mm-hmm. like you have uh, a lot of people that you don't even know. Mm-hmm. You know. That's true. And like, I think I want to keep that. Like, think about me like working at that place. I want to just some people know the people who know know that, and like. If you ask me, then I'll tell you where I work. Mm-hmm. If I feel like it's safe for me to tell you, if mm-hmm. not, then I'm like, you know, no, just know that, like, yeah, I work with a, I work for a cannabis company, um, and yeah, that's like how I got into, oh, like okay, how okay. I know about like. Some hey, product, we got the product. hookups now. Yeah. <laughs> hey, come, I'll hook you up. Hey, we sure. went out of chat. That what? Okay, what? What other? Um, what other uh, things do you have? Like Jamaica. 
They have a they have limonada. They have I think they have a lot of one pepino. Mm. They have, I think they have a a big selection. But at the at that one location, um, we have that with the chata. Let me put you on for real. If you have if you haven't tried orchata with Hennessy, uh-huh. try it. <gasps> Damn. And if you haven't had Jamaica with Hennessy, try it. Damn, that's I did that like two years ago. Uh-huh. Try it. Trust me. Like I know you don't drink anymore, but but Hennessy was my thing. Okay, and it's funny because that's all I fucking drink. But as you can see, there's nothing because that's all I drink. Yeah. <laughs> it's God. That's but trust me, uh-huh. um, Hennessy and 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 Jamaica, Hennessy and uh, and horchata, and it's not nasty. It's not. It's actually like. It's no, I good. can I can see it. The you know? Jamaica for sure. Yeah, Jamaica it fits really good. To yeah. be honest, really really good, and you could actually taste even the Jamaica. Sangria, huh? like, even I like sangria. sangria. Yeah, yeah, hey, I never tried. Okay, hey. there she's getting creative. Okay, okay, yeah, I'm gonna try that one. Yeah, yeah. That one no, but definitely try Jamaica, and Hennessy. I'm gonna do that. Yeah, I'm gonna do that because that shit looks sounds fire. It is. I don't fuck with tequila. Hey, I, I did that shit. Me neither. But lately, I have. Especially cause uh, uh, a female was supposed to come to the podcast and she told me get the get the anejo casamigos that shit's gone. It's gone. <laughs> cause she told me it was good, so I tasted it and Did I you fucked it. it? Oh Almost. Goodness. But look, I'm gonna show you how much I got. Look. She told me it's so good, and I was like, we'll see. Yeah, it's so good. Oh, oh like the, I think I've tried this. Yeah. Yeah, I just don't remember. I just feel like when I drink tequila. Me vale verga lo que te digo. I feel like I don't give a fuck. Like, I just probably don't have a filter. Mm-hmm. Do you feel like, um, do you feel like, oh, is that one of the reasons why you don't drink anymore? No, I just feel like I would just, like, I feel like I would get more sad. I feel like I would have, like, emotions. ¿Cuál es el, el drink que te pone así como en tus sentimientos? Tequila, I feel. Tequila? So, yeah. Para todos, ¿verdad? Plus, and it also would make my bones swell. Like, I feel like hinchada. Really? Like, yeah, it would hurt. Like I'm like, fuck. Why am I drinking this mm-hmm. shit? This shit hurts. Like, but the Hennessy. How does Hennessy make you feel? Hennessy is like, girl, do your vibe, be you. Like, yeah. fuck, blah, 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 you know. Um, and it doesn't like it doesn't it wouldn't give me a hangover. Um, I don't get hangovers. Fun fact. Yeah. Never. It's just like I wake up thirsty mm-hmm. and that's it. That's but that's good. why I got the backup galon de agua all the time. That's good for you, because fuck, <laughs> you don't want to have a fucking hangover. I've gone into work at 8 in the morning mm-hmm. when I have gone to turn up and got home at 7. Just shower and go straight to work, and I'm good. I don't know. I would never do that. <laughs> you just hate life. How's your How's your life going, by the way, like, lately? Like, do you be going out a lot? Do you just, like, are you a stay-home person? Do you like to, like, do the whole uh, chill vibe? You know? Um, I think I'm mostly like uh, with the wind, like where the wind blows me. Mm-hmm. Um, I try to stay active. Um, but I love to go out, like mm-hmm. in a sense, like adventures, experiences. Mm-hmm. Um, like don't tempt me to go travel. You know, I would love to go travel, mm-hmm. or um, if it's like to do an activity, I don't really go. I would be in the beginning last summer. I was dancing all the time, going out, drinking, getting home late. When I could, when I didn't have my son. But now it's just kind of like, okay, like, I'd rather just smoke, paint, go you to like paint. I did see yeah. a post where I saw you yeah, paint with I your little paint. apron. Yeah, but I, yeah. Love, I love painting. I was going to ask you about yeah. that. Like, do, uh, how, how long have you been painting? Um, I feel like I've been drawing since I was, like, really, like, when I was little. Mm-hmm. Um, but I feel like I was always scared of color. So I would always just draw and sketch with black and like now I'm kind of like more into like mixing colors like what like fuck it let's make this color like Mm -hmm. you know starting from like just like seeing how things like you know just just putting my vibe to whatever do you have your own art like on your on your walls where you look um I used to have a portfolio and I just don't know where it is I think the best thing that you you could do and it's gonna make you feel good is seeing something that you did yeah. You know what I mean? So At home, I do have my chest, my, my easel, and then, like, right there is, like, a stack of paintings that I recently did. Mm. Okay. And I have my vision board on there, too. So, like, I just see things, you know? Like, if mm-hmm. when I wake up, I see it. I go to sleep, I see it. Like, I'm not looking at my phone. I'm kind of looking at that. Like, okay, this is, this is, this one. Like, to someone else, it might not make sense. But to me... How creative are you? Do you look at clouds and see shit? Um, If I want to, yes. If I'm mm-hmm. in the mood, I'm like, okay, like, that, that could be this. But, like... More so, it's kind of like, okay, like, 
How can we like? That shit you know? looks like a blunt. Let me smoke. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Not like that. I don't, not, like, I I think about like sometimes I do think about that. Like, yeah. Oh, like the like the majority the majority of the times like someone shows me a Texas ID and the behind the mm-hmm. behind it has like a little thing. I don't know what it is, but it looks like a joint. Yeah. And I don't know if you're from Texas. I you most likely like the like. You know what I'm talking about in the back of the ARD? It's like a little, it looks like a joint. Really? Yeah, it really looks like a joint. And I'm just like, what is this? I want to kind of find out mm-hmm. what it is, actually. I'm, I'm going to Google it after. Yeah. You. It's like a Texas shit. It's a Texas ID. Oh, ID. Yeah, and okay. in the back of it, uh-huh. it has like a little, it looks like a cannon or it's like a joint. It looks like a joint. <laughs> it really does. I never see, I never paid a, well, who showed you her, the, their Texas ID? A lot of the, a lot people that i work oh because yeah. okay okay yeah, yeah okay they be oh because in texas is not legal yeah texas that's is not, true well, so i when, mean i don't know anybody any i meet mm-hmm. people from around the world all mm-hmm. the time and i feel like that's what's cool about working in the cannabis industry mm-hmm. that you're able to network and meet you know mm-hmm. all different types of people um and and it's funny because like there you like you can't be shy you can't be mm-hmm. shy because you're working with people but it looks like you have a good energy you don't look shy to be honest i feel like i'm I'm not shy at all, but there's mm-hmm. just times where I, I naturally, I fuck like I'm shy. Mm-hmm. Like, do you feel because it's like the situation or like? Yeah, like where I'm kind of like, I'm, I, and I just learned this about myself that like, I'm kind of shy to like, like to see what I could be, mm-hmm. you know? Oh, okay, okay. Like, like embracing type. Yeah, stuff. like, yeah. or, it, or maybe it's a fear, a mm-hmm. fear of being like, of like what I could be. Like, mm-hmm. like damn, like. Like, does that seem... I don't know. I don't know. Just... I'm not shy, but sometimes situations, circumstances, or certain people make me shy. But the thing is that I think it happens to everybody because also myself, I'm not shy. But just when I'm around, like, new people, mm-hmm. it's not like I'm just going to be like, oh, like, you know what I mean? I just keep to myself. Yeah. And it's like opening up to people. Like, if they're cool, they're giving you the same energy. Yeah, yeah. You know, like... Like, today is the first time that I met her. I've yeah, never yeah, met her. Yeah, and we're having a good conversation, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. It's not even like, oh, no, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, it wasn't awkward. I think, like, coming here, I didn't have that vibe. I mm-hmm. felt like if I did, I'd probably be like, hey, I just yeah. don't think this is yeah. the right thing to do. Mm-hmm. You know? I would have been like that. I probably would have. And I feel like that's what I've been doing a lot. Like, mm-hmm. stop there. I don't want to have that conversation. Mm-hmm. I don't want to talk about this. I don't want to see you. Like, I'm very more like, okay, like... I don't want to deal with things I know mm-hmm. I don't want to deal with. Exactly. You, you know? And a lot of people are scared of that. Yeah. And they don't, like, don't, you, as don't I said, be. same thing to what we were talking about earlier. Yeah. Like, just be yourself, go with your gut, and whatever makes you happy, that's the right thing to do. Yeah, it really you know? is. It's and if you if it's wrong, <laughs> learn the mistake, like you said earlier. Yeah. Learn your lesson. Acknowledge the lesson. It's there. Like, a veces te sigue pasando, te sigue pasando, pero no entiendes, mm-hmm. y no entiendes, y no entiendes. Pero sí sabes. Sí sabes. Pero no quiere... Like, Todos saben, pero no... no yeah. Hay que entrar en esos. ¿verdad? It's gonna be like... Let me give you... I'm gonna give you the reward when you make the right choice. Mm-hmm. That's, that's what it is. What would you say uh, that has been like the, the thing that you... That you finally learned that you made a mistake over and over a couple times? It's a deep question. That is a deep question. Um... Like you say, this is wrong, but I'm still doing it. <laughs> uh, I feel like just accepting people's jealousy. Mm-hmm. I feel. Explain. Like, like knowing that someone is like their their um, behavior is like towards you. Yeah, something that's like someone who is jealous. Mm-hmm. Not jealous, like not jealous about who I am, but like you know, like. Or just like seeing me with talk to someone else, like, mm-hmm. and they feel like that's like wrong, mm-hmm. but it's not like my intentions are not that, you know. Um, and it's kind of being like, hey, like, um, I, you know, there's no reason to be jealous here, mm-hmm. like, you know, like I feel like sometimes people are like, oh, you know, he's jealous. That's that's sexy, <laughs> you know. Yeah. And like sometimes, yeah, I, like, I, you know, like I get it. Cause you know I used to be like oh that's like oh he he doesn't want me like, but it's not it's not healthy. Mm-hmm. It's not healthy at all. And you went through that shit like a lot a lot. Yeah. Yeah. And then like it's just kind of like no like you're in control you set your boundaries mm-hmm. you know what's right you know what's wrong, 
um, you know what your intentions are, Mm -hmm. you know, and it's just kind of like, okay, you kind of, and that's what I said, like, what do I, what am I doing wrong? Like, I probably need to reassure, maybe make them feel like, like there's no in between lines and just, um, but again, like it's all communicating. Like you can't, (laughs) like once you see that behavior, you could like, you're like, all right. You can stop it. uh, Yeah. Like, Hey, um, like you, you just can't you can't keep redoing the lessons mm-hmm. yeah. that is true yeah. but that's how we learn you know that's how we learn but yeah she did tell me that she she had to be somewhere at a certain time so i gotta go do i had to go back to get my pedic my pedicure done oh so oh you did them in different i did it in my nails because the lady who mm-hmm. does my pedicure she it's was different. busy oh okay i called in the morning i wasn't gonna do my nails today, yeah but i was like oh fuck it i'll do my nails <laughs> and then i went i went and i'm like hey it's like any way you can like take squeeze me in she's like i'm busy and i'm like fuck. i'm like okay she's like come back at three i was like okay yeah i'll come back so we're gonna let her go okay yeah. but thank you so much yeah, uh, it was so fun having, having you i hope that you had a good time i did Thank you. Uh, whenever uh, I'm gonna be having a, a co-host, uh, yeah. she's pr- she's pretty cool. So uh, I'll just you know send you a message in case you ever want to come back. You know, yeah, I hope yeah, that you did a, yeah, a good time. But uh, we're gonna put her Instagram in the beginning of the video, like I always do. But I always mention it at the end. Yeah. But yeah, uh, thank you so much for yeah, coming. Thank eh? you for having me and like just keep doing what you're doing. Yeah. Stay creative, stay authentic to yourself and. You know, whatever it is you want to do, just do it. Yes. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank Bye. you. Bye. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah, you have fun. I like, I like conversating. Yes. You know what I'm saying? That's how we get the attention. That's how we grab the attention. Oh, he must be different. Yeah, we different. We pimps. You know what I'm saying? Y'all human.